Okay, good afternoon. This afternoon, we're going to discuss the local art or the branches of arts. We have two branches, the traditional and non-traditional arts. So once again, my name is Emmeline F. Deguia, your OLC. Okay, so here's the objectives in this subject to enumerate the branches of art in the Philippines and to understand the purpose of it and also to appreciate the work of art. So I want Juan Carlos to read the purpose of art. Uh, purpose of art. Purpose is to encourage self-expression, creativity, and can build confidence as well as sense of individual identity to help develop our critical thinking and the ability to, to interpret the world around us. Okay, thank you. So it is very important to note that art is a creative expression of one's feelings and emotions. And also it, it serves as our identity, being individual and as a nation as well, because it also talks about traditional arts. And further, it also it helps develop our critical thinking as we interpret the world around us, because we were able to uh, identify and appreciate different artworks that could also part of our culture and tradition. How about Fatima, can you read Art of the Philippines? Okay, Philippine art refers to the work of art that have evolved and accumulated in the Philippines from the beginning of the country's civilization up to the present period. Thank you, Fatima. So does anyone here loves art? Do you love art? Yes. Somebody? Yes. So what kind of art? What kind of art? Fun mom, art, music, and drawing music. Very, no. very good. Music. Music is part of our art. What else? How about drawing? Dancing. Dancing. How about painting? Architecture. Yes, ma'am. Do you okay? Do you believe that art is everywhere? Yes. yes very good. Can you give example of arts? Anybody? Aside from music, what else? Acting. Very good acting. That's performing arts. Very good. What else? Literature book. Literature, very good. We have different folk literatures and modern literatures. Very good. What else? Anybody? Sculpture. Sculpture, good. Sculpture, very good. That's part of our, our art, artwork. What else? Graphic design. Very good. Graphic and plastic designs is an art, form of art. Good. Okay, so there are various artwork that we can see or found any places or anywhere around us. Now, these modern arts that we have are the product of arts that we have in the past. These past artworks are just accumulated and being preserved because this talks about uh, so much our, with, uh, in our uh, history. It talks so much in our history since the beginning of Philippine history. Okay, since the time or the beginning of Spanish regime. So these were being preserved, these were being uh, accumulated because those are the basis. Those were the uh, basis of the modern arts that we have right now. Okay, so let's proceed to the branches of arts in the Philippines. We have the two branches, the traditional and the non-traditional arts. So can you, uh, who can um, give idea what is traditional arts anybody what is traditional arts in your own understanding from the word traditional what could it be anybody anybody okay from the word traditional these are arts that is Part or that were become part of our culture, the skills and knowledge 
which are passed down from generations to generations. That's why we call traditional or folk arts. Okay, so example is folk literature. Folk literature, these are houses, buildings in the past that can be uh, seen until now being preserved because it talks so much of the history of our culture and traditions. And also the non-traditional arts, anybody who has an idea what is non-traditional arts from the word non-traditional? Nobody? Okay, non-traditional, these are arts expressing different way, not in traditional way. The materials that are used are not in traditional materials, just like the use of bottle cups or the use of uh, sunflower seeds, because those materials are not traditional materials. So that is why it is called non-traditional arts. Some also modern arts are not, of course, non-traditional arts because that's why it's called modern arts, right? Okay, let's proceed. Okay, who can read folk architecture? Anybody? Folk architecture, including but not limited to stilt house land, houses and aerial houses. Very good. So this could be the iconic uh, houses that you have because stilt houses those are houses that are built in the surface of water or land the first picture shows the the houses that are built in the surface of water where can we see these houses anybody of course in the coastal area right especially those in Okay, anybody? Yes. Okay, very good. Malinis ng Manila Bay. Of course. Okay. How about this Bahay Kubo? The iconic Bahay Kubo. Ginagamit na di siya ngayon sa mga resort ko eh. Or di sa mga modern house. Parang additional features ng house ko ngayon. Very good. Naging additional features na siya. But before, but before, ito yung ating traditional house. Very good. How about this old Spanish house located in Carcar, Cebu? Yung sa picture mga so pilipo. Pero sa ibang places, yung mga bahay na mga, normally bahay po ng mga bayani po, na ni-restore pa din po until now. Yes, they are being preserved because of the Philippine history. So those are folk architecture, architecture rather, that are being preserved until now. Next, we have maritime transports. From the word transports, this um, vinta, wooden, banka, and boat houses were being or are being used for transportation to nearby places in the coastal area. So we can see this so much in Zamwanga and Hulu Sulu. Okay, vinta is a colorful boat that are also used in transportation and also we have the wooden banka is so popular uh, iconic also the wooden banka and the boat house can you describe why it is called boat house why boat house from the word house because the family is what living in that house they become a the um, this house rather is their permanent house so not in the land but in the surface of water in the boat okay next how about this weaving art anybody anybody who could read Weaving art, like basket weaving, the headgear weaving, the fishnet weaving, and other forms of weaving. So it's so very traditional. Can you see the first picture? It's a traditional way of weaving the clothes or the textile. And the second picture shows the basket that are so traditional also. 
speaks to our culture. And also we have the fish net. Mm, the material is nylon. And of course, the last picture shows the iconic farmer's hat. Okay, so until now, farmers also use this hat during their farming. How about the carving? Anybody who can describe? The most popular uh, carving is a uh, material used in carving is wood. And it is widely used in the country. In the first picture, you can see the furniture. Okay. Why carving? What's the purpose of carving? Anybody? Is it served for beautification? Yes or no? So, when you say that, you know, man, bohon, parang you remember yung mga historical people or historical events. Po. Very good. Now it talks about history. Okay. How about these monuments? We can see monuments in different areas in the Philippines. Numerous figures of sculpture like mga bayani. What else? Uh, yung mga iconic na images that we can see in different parts of the Philippines. How about the next one, the performing arts? I've heard Juan Carlos say, uh, uh, speak about music earlier. Anybody? Why is this part of our traditional art, the performing arts? How about the folk dances, the music, the vocals, or the theater play? What's in that performing arts that talks our culture and tradition as Filipinos. Anybody? Um, at in additional lang po sa performing arts, normally ginagawa siya sa mga big events natin. Kadulad ng nakarang sea games po, di ba pinakita po nila yun, yun nga po yung mga traditional dance po. Sinama po nila sa, in, sa introduction po ng sea games po. Okay, very good. Okay, so theater, Theater play or dramas also showcase the activities of the Filipinos, the way, uh, the yes, the way of living of the Filipinos during those times. And also we have traditional dances that also speaks the culture of every places in the Philippines and also the music and vocals also speaks the folk, uh, architect, uh, folk literatures of the Philippines. How about these popular graphic and plastic arts? That includes calligraphy. What is calligraphy? Anybody? Calligraphy? It's a what? Ancient way, artistic way of writing, writing letters through thick and thin through the use of pens. How about tattoo? Anybody who could tell the history of tattoo? Before the coming of Spaniards, tattoo were also what? Used as beautification, am I right? How about sa mga men? Kung may tattoo ang men, ano ba siya during those times? Warriors. Parang warrior sila that time. No? Very good. Warrior, head of the, the family. It signifies bravery. How about for women? How about for women? It signifies what? Beautification. So, kaya until now, may mga tattoos pa rin nag-exist. Okay, how about this drawing and painting? Because it's also part of our folk arts. By the way, can you identify what is 2D and 3D? 
two dimension and three dimension because this calligraphy, tattoo, drawing, and painting are belong in two dimension. And this plastic arts that you can see the last picture is belong to three dimension. What would be the difference between two dimension and three dimension? Anybody could answer? Two dimension is a flat surface by the use of, for instance, paper. But three dimension, what is three dimension? There are multiple dimension. It rotates, just like the last picture. Uh, yes. La the last picture is the picture of lanterns as decorative material. This uh, art belongs to three dimension because it what it has multiple dimensions it can rotate right okay how about this painting let's go back to drawing and painting this are belongs to two dimension who can give popular artists in painting the father of um, national, uh, the father of naturalistic or realistic painting in the Philippines. Anybody who could guess? Who's the father? Amor Solo, ma'am. Very good. It's Fernando Amor Solo. Okay. So he's the father of realistic and naturalistic painting. Okay. Very good. Now let's proceed. Ornament. Ornament used to embellish parts of a building or object. These ornaments are being used as decorative materials in the house. Okay, in the first picture, it shows shells, la, ano ba yan siya? chimes, made of shells. San ba ito? Makikita natin the part of the house normally in? Pintuan. Yes, very good. Sa pintuan. And how about the second picture? It talks about different decorative arts, mga antiques. Okay. Could also be part of decorative arts and can be also displayed in different areas in the house. Very good. And the last one is pottery. Okay. Pottery that includes pot making. We have also two types, the ceramic and the clay, sorry, clay sculpture. What's the difference between the two? Okay, anybody? The difference between the two, the clay and the ceramic. Okay, clay is a natural material, it comes from the ground from the word clay and ceramic is what a material a special material or a various materials that is being hardened or heated to form this structure or sculpture rather so we have this traditional way and also yes becomes also traditional itong ceramic but yung uh, clay Pot made of clay is traditional way of making pot, clay making, okay. So now I have here a question. Why we need to learn our traditional arts? I want you to answer one by one. <laughs> All of you should give your idea why we need to answer our, uh, to, to learn rather our traditional arts. I want everyone to answer. All of you should give your idea. Pwede po mauna. Okay. It's Juan Carlos, right? Okay. Go. Okay, go ahead. Ang pinaka-purpose po natin, wait, we need to learn traditional arts because traditional arts symbolize our culture, our heritage, kung saan po nagsimula yung Pilipinas. Uh, normally, kung pupunta po tayo sa museum, doon po makikita natin kung ano po yung mga, kung baga na yung mga ginagawa ng mga naunang tao sa Pilipinas, kung ano yung klaseng transaction na which they deliver into arts. 
Very good. Good idea. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Next. Who's next? Who's next? Ako, ma'am. Yes, Fatima. Like, yes? We, need, we should learn about our culture through traditional arts. Like, that's my opinion. Very good, no? We could learn our culture through traditional arts, from the word traditional, or tradition, rather. Yes, very good. Who's next? Oh, ma'am. Yes, Mark? Para magkaroon po tayo ng idea or knowledge about sa history ng ating ano, bansa. Very good. To have a knowledge of our uh, arts, no? traditional arts. That's part of our become uh, our, our identity of being a Filipino. Ma'am, tulad nga nung sinabi ni Juan Carlos, para ma-preserve yung art, tsaka yung sinabi niya rin kanina na for generation and generation, kailangan pinapas yung ano, para hindi malimutan kung saan nag-start yung... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, Shem. Yes, very good. That's true. Kailangan natin siyang balikan because walang modern art if walang traditional arts. So, nanggaling ang modern art from traditional arts. Okay, next. Uh, Ma'am, ako naman po. Para po sa akin, siguro, kaya kailangan po natin matutunan yung traditional arts kasi nakikita po natin yung pinagkaiba nung dati sa ngayon. Nagpapalala po yung traditional arts ng mga dating buhay natin. History. Very, very good. It talks about history. Okay, kung ano tayo ngayon, it's because of the past history that we have. Very good. Next. Ako naman po, ma'am. Yes, Liza. Um, para po sa akin, um, kailangan po nating matutunan ang traditional art for us to have a deeper understanding po sa ating kultura. Very good. Before we learn other culture, First, we have to learn our own culture, understand it, and love our own culture. Very good. Next. Um, for me, po, ma'am, it's like a piece of the past where we can preserve and also, na, um, in a way, now we could learn from it and improve it well, pa, para katulad nga po yun, na napapas po siya through generations with that na hikita yung pag-improve sa isang art, like, Dati is um, in person, then ngayon po, kaya na rin po siya through digital, yung ganun po. Very good. Kaya may mga antique tayo na mga arts na pre-preserve yan, di ba? So, kasi nga, part siya ng history at hindi dapat kalimutan. Okay? So, thank you so much. Any questions? Meron pa ba? Before we end? This gonna be... Okay, so ito yung last meeting natin because next week, no, as I've said, would be your final exam.